plug, so bear with my crazy voice this morning. Billy is not going to be in her office today. She will return tomorrow. So if you're looking for her, we apologize. The pool tables in the billiards room are getting a facelift this week. The work is scheduled to be done on Thursday. So for the entire day Thursday, you won't be able to use them. We're hoping to get it done in one day, and, but if not, it'll go into Friday. I apologize, I'm so congested. Last week, four signs were placed on the pickleball courts. The signs read, please do not let your dog do its business within 20 feet of the fences. Pickleballs get contaminated by dog droppings and urine. Once this happens, they can no longer use them, so it costs money. Someone took it upon themselves to remove the signs from the pickleball courts. It wasn't management. So if it was someone, or if you know who it was, if they could be returned, that would be wonderful. <clears throat> Reminder, if you're leaving for the summer, you can find tips for closing up your home at TWRtimes.com. There's a lot of great information there, and if you don't go there, I, I recommend that you do. <clears throat> Another reminder, it's Easter yesterday. I hope everyone had a great Easter. And if your grandchildren are visiting, how old do they have to be to drive your golf cart? At least 14. The law says 14, our perspective says 16. I would go with at least 14. I saw a little boy driving a golf cart the other day. Couldn't have been more than seven or eight. And I've got more people telling me every day they, they've been seeing it. So someone's doing it. So just a reminder, that's a no-no. I know they have beautiful pleading eyes and we want to give in to them because they're our grandkids. But it's for everybody's safety. They cannot drive the golf carts. I'll be in the community room today until coffee's over if you need me. And I hope everybody has a great week.